What's up guys, Monster Michael Todd here, and we are heading to pick up the newly wrapped RV for my quest for 100 starting this Saturday. But that's not what this video is about. We're gonna talk about arm brakes. So here's the deal. Um, people send me arm brake videos all the time, whether it's my Instagram inbox, whether it's Facebook, whatever. And then they want my opinion. I'm like, dude, I'm not watching that. Like, I don't watch arm brake videos. They, I hate them. It's, it just sends twinges down my spine. I hate seeing them. But last night during a live stream, Aiden Ross's bodyguard broke his arm. Pretty popular YouTuber, social media guy. And I thought, hey, a lot of people are gonna see this. I need to let people know that this isn't as common as some may think. But it is, I mean, in, in any sport, there's an inherent risk of injury. Arm brakes normally occur when the hand goes past your shoulder. When your hand goes past your shoulder, it takes it out of line and it puts a lot of unnecessary torque on your humerus. You might be wondering why my arm looks so big. That's because I have a free sleeve on. But if your hand goes past your shoulder, puts the bone out of line, puts a lot of torque on the humerus. If you twist, turn your head away from your hand, really, really bad for your, your bone. The bone itself is just not used to that type of torque. In arm wrestling in that manner, which is basically redneck arm wrestling, how we all started. I mean, I'm in my 33rd year. I used to do this thing on picnic tables, hoods of trucks, whatever, school desk. And my high school, we had two people break their arms growing up. So how to avoid this? Anytime you're arm wrestling, keep your hand inside your shoulder. Never look away from your hand. Always keep contact with your hand. Now, I'm telling you the best ways to avoid it. I'm not saying this is a guarantee you won't get injured if you arm wrestle in this manner. You're just less likely to get injured. What Aiden's bodyguard was doing is he was in a winning position and he wanted to finish. And he was here pushing, 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 and he just torqued his body and pow. Humor snaps. Everybody thinks it's the elbow because the way it flops loose is really the break normally happens two inches above the elbow. I just don't want people not to get involved because arm wrestling is in a great place right now. A lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of eyes on arm wrestling and seeing something like this may scare people away, which really doesn't make a lot of sense because in every sport, you know, we just watched the Buffalo Bill guy the other day take a hit and then, you know, cardiac arrest from that. It's part of sport. Prayers with that guy, by the way. Rebecca and I were at a rodeo, our first ever rodeo and uh, the very first bull ride, this young man gets butted back in the head, flies off, and we read about him that night, the guys with the breathing tube and everything, but fortunately, he's back with his family now. Injuries happen. The best way to avoid injuries, start training for arm wrestling. If you wanna arm wrestle, if you're gonna arm wrestle with your buddies, there's so much information out there right now. You can look at my channel, you go to Devin Lair's channel. There's so many different arm wrestlers out there who are happy to share proper technique, proper training. Um, the key things, if you want to beat your buddies, arm wrestling is not a pushing sport. Stay away from pushing. Take that high knuckle and pull back to your face and then drag your elbow back. Pull the power away from them. If you do that, you keep eye on your hand, you don't twist too much, you're gonna keep yourself a lot safer and definitely less a chance of getting arm break. I hated to see that happen. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. There's a few instances where arm breaks can be bad and that's if they don't get seen, they get compartment syndrome, things like that. Those are horrible. I'm pretty sure he went straight to the hospital last night. Hopefully he doesn't need plates. Sometimes you don't even have to have surgery. Prayers with that young man. But guys, if you're interested in arm wrestling, check out anything on my platform, but just Google arm wrestling, how to arm wrestling. It's all over the place. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell for notifications.